Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Boy's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but no luck. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second. I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some.
Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Newcomer! You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, sonny? Where should I look for your son? East of here, midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some robes from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve, a cheerful lad, a bit of a lisp, nothing special about his looks, except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely, none other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Trouble, or you answer to me. <sighs> Greetings. Greetings. Mind if I have a look at your herbs? Fare thee well. Uh oh. So they wonder if he's as strong as he looks. To death. First lad, grass would be stacked then. Drink last night too. What did you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. I think so. Grand those swords, but I can barely trust the axe. I want to keep an eye on him. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the knithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. 
getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. Nope, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Know who placed the knife in? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So, will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor, condemn them to poverty. You've got to break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No, but he doesn't have to die. You have a choice. All right. If it'll save Chalva, I'll go back to the hussy. But you... Best not see your face round here again. There's truth to that blather, but yes, Jen. Mm-hmm. 